So let us start with Kapalvati practice. So keep your spine straight, sit on a blanket. So do not strain, do as many rounds as you can. So let us start the first round. Exhale. Practice the locks. Bring chin to the chest. Squeeze the abdomen. Squeeze the bottom muscles. Hold the breath. And relax. <laughs> So, bandhas right, are part of Kriya Yoga. So, you should, as you go along, you should pay attention to Jalandar Bandha, chin to the chest, squeezing the abdomen with Dhyana Bandha and Mola Bandha. You have to pay attention and make sure the bandhas are happy. But do not stray. Okay, second round. Interlock your fingers, turn the palms up. Let us start when you are ready. Relax. A deep inhalation and a long exhalation. Completely relax the breath. Now let's go to the third round. Palms on the shoulder blades. Elbows facing the ceiling. Let us start when you are ready. Now let us check the nostrils. Relax the breath. Now place the index finger on the right nostril, vigorously breathe to the left.
and change, go to the other side. But my right nostril is kind of blocked. So that indicates that it is time for asana practice. So when we practice asana, the right nostril opens. And when we practice yoga nidra, the left nostril opens. Okay, so with that, let us start the asana practice. Inhaling, bring the arms on either side, stretch the arms, stretch the fingers. Exhaling, bring the arms down. Inhale. Exhaling, bring the arms forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhaling, bring the arms up. Interlock your fingers. Turn the palms up. Let the arms go behind the ears. Stretch. Stretch a little bit more. Now, while exhaling, bend to the right. Inhale, exhaling, bend to the other side. Keep the arms straight, parallel to each other, closer to the ears. And release. So now let's practice the chest rotation. Inhale, exhale. And reverse. And release. Now gently practice the shoulder rotations. Keep the arms straight. In uh, exhale and reverse. And release. Now let's practice the shoulder rotations. Inhale, exhale. And arms forward. Inhale, exhale. And bring the arms up. Inhale, exhale. And release. Now practice the total rotation. Five times. And reverse. And release. Bring your shoulders up. In. Out. Down. Now let's practice the neck rotations. Inhaling, bring the chin up. Exhale. 
Exhale, chin to the chest. Be gentle. Now turn the head from side to side. Inhale to the middle. Exhale to one side. Now drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Left ear to the left ear. Do not raise the shoulder and do not lean forward or back. Keep the spine straight. Gentle movement. Now turn the head to the right. Look over your right shoulder. And if you can, bring the left arm to the right knee. Extend your right arm. Hold it. Your left shoulder. So you have to adjust the pose based on your body condition. If you want to go a little bit more, that's okay too. Right arm to the left. Extend your left arm. Stay there for a few breaths. Develop an inner gauge for the middle finger. Now drop the right ear to the right shoulder, left ear to the left shoulder. Stay there on the right side. Extend your left arm. Keep extending, extending. And feel that connection with the fingertips and hold there when you cannot move any further. And change. Left ear to the left shoulder. Extend the right arm. One more time. Right ear to the right shoulder. Gently pull the head towards the right. Extend your left arm. We are really spending some time here 
for a couple of reasons. Neck rotations are very important. A lot of times we are developing a lot of, we are putting a lot of uh, stress on the neck. And this also develops inner focus. Focus on the breath with each inflation and exhalation. Scan through the left side, left arm. And change. Go to the other side. Now bring the palms to the back of your head. Interlock the fingers, chin to the chest. Inhale, look up. One more time. Chin to the chest. Now move the head from side to side. Very gently. And bring the right elbow towards the floor. Left elbow towards the side to side. And look up. And so now let's practice the rotations right here to the right shoulder, all the way to the left, left to right, side to side. Now complete rotation. Inhale, exhale. And reverse. And release. Now bring the left arm to the right, turn the head to the left. And change. Now let's practice the hand quenching. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bring the arms forward. Bring the arms up. Gently shake your arms.
No, take away the blanket. Bend your knees, drop the knees from side to side. And let's practice the side bend. Move the right arm to the right side. Left arm to the left side. Move a little bit further. Good. Now stay there on the right side. Do not raise the left hold. Bring the left arm over the left ear. Be gentle. And change. Bring the right arm over the right. And release. So now, bring the palms to the back of your head. Turn the chest to the right. Turn the chest to the left. Now bring the right elbow outside the right. Left elbow facing the seat. And change. Left elbow outside the left. And right elbow faces the ceiling. Bring the right elbow to the front. Yes. Legs. Now you may stretch your legs, bend your toes, point and flex, point and flex, rotate. And reverse. Now practice the butterfly, half butterfly.
hold the right side, swing from side to side. If you like, bring that right foot to the left arm and bring the leg closer to the chest. But do not lean back. Keep the spine straight. Practice the spinal twist. Right foot outside the left leg. Left arm goes around the right. Turn the chest to the right. Hold there. Right arm behind. Go to the other side. Bring the left foot to the right. Slowly bring the left knee down. Now hold the left knee. Move from side to side. Raise the leg a little higher if you can. Press the palms on the floor, raise your hips. Come to your table down. Now you may lie down on your back and relax. Inhale and bring the arms beyond the head. Gentle stretch. Exhaling arms back to the body. Inhale. Exhale. Now bend your knees. Keep the knees together. Drop the knees to the right. Turn the head to the left. Knees to the left. Turn the head to the right.
and separate the feet, right knee to the left heel, left knee to the right heel, side to side. And release. Now one more time. Inhaling, bring the arms beyond the head. This time, point your feet. Stretch. Create a gap between lower spine and the neck. Point the feet. Keep them together. And push the heels back. Feel the stretch in the upper back. One more time. Point the feet. And push the heels back. One last time. Point the feet. And push the heels back. And release. So now bend your knees. Bring the knees into the chest. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Rotate the knees and hips. Give a massage to the back. And reverse. Now stretch the left leg. Place the right foot on the left leg. Extend your right arm. Bring the knee down on the left side. Hold there. And change. Go to the other side. Left foot on the right. The right side. Extend your left arm. Hold it. So the early morning body is stiff. So we are preparing the body for the day. Don't force the body. And release. Now practice the bridge pose. Keep the knees bent. Raise into bridge. Do this a few times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Now come to a supported bridge. And release. And relax. Now extend your arms on either side. Raise the right leg. Raise the left leg. One leg at a time. Without bending at them. Now, rotate the right leg. Make circles, three circles. Large circles. And reverse. And change.
and reverse. And relax. And if you have any discomfort, practice this Sutta Tadasana one more time. Point the feet, push the heels back, and practice the bridge. And come back. Now, one more time. Extend the arms on either side. Raise the feet to 90 degrees. Open the feet at the top. Join them at the bottom. Continue. And reverse. And relax. Now you may shift over to your abdomen. Put your forehead down. Extend your arms forward. Relax. Notice your breath, how the abdomen is pushing the mat with each inflation. Notice what is happening. As you exhale, the abdomen goes inside. As you inhale, it pushes the mat. And release. Now practice much greater now. Okay. Now we will practice Makarasana. Relax on your cheek.
Now come to all posts. Practice the catch and dog stretch. Then uh, push the navel down, look up. Exhale. Squeeze the abdomen. Inhale. Exhale. Now bring the right foot all the way to the left. Turn your head to the left. Look at your right. And change. And come back. Sit on the heels. Relax. Surrender to gravity. From here, come into Cobra. Inhale. Back to downward dog. Bring one heel down at it. And again, come back to Cobra. And into Terry's Force, Station Cross. Continue this vinyasa, inhale, into cobra, back to downward drop, bring one heel down at it, back to cobra, and into shashankas, one more time, inhale, chin closer to the mat, into Bhujangas, back to downward dog. Into Cobra. Into Chelsea's. And relax. Now come to downward dog and walk your feet forward. Keep walking and stand up. Let's get ready for standing poses. Prepare the hips. The rush. And release. Bring the palms to the lower back, middle back, upper back. Now practice the Tadasana. Interlock the fingers, turn the palms out. Stretch, stretch. Let the arms go behind the ears. But don't force the body. That's the goal. 
Rest the feet firmly on the ground. Stretch the body in both the directions. Exhale. Now let's practice the logo around. Separate the feet by about three feet. Inhale, exhaling, bend to the right. Drop the right arm, bring the left arm over. And change. And the rotation. And reverse. Okay, so let us start this Surinam square practice. Come to the front of the mat. Relax the breath. Om Mitraya Namaha Om Ravaya Namaha Om Surya Yanamaha. Look up, push the thighs back. Look up. Om Bhanave Namaha. Om Khagaya Namaha. Om Pushne Namaha. Om Hiranyagarbhaya Namaha. Om Arichaya Namaha Om Adityaya Namaha Om Savitre Namaha Om Arkaya Namaha Om Bhaskaraya Namaha Relax. Left side. Om Mitraya Namaha, Om Ravaya Namaha, Om Suryaya Namaha, Om Hanave Namaha, Om Khagaya Namaha, Om Pushne Namaha. Om Hiranyagarbhaya Namaha Om Marichaya Namaha Om Adityaya Namaha Om Savitre Namaha Om Akkaya Namaha Om Bhaskaraya Namaha Relax. Om Mitraya Namaha, Om Ravaya Namaha, Om Suryaya Namaha, Om Hanave Namaha, Om Khagaya Namaha, Om Pushne Namaha, Om Hiranyagarbhaya Namaha, Om Arichaya Namaha, Om Adityaya Namaha, Om Saritre Namaha, Om Akkaya Namaha, Om Bhaskaraya Namaha. Relax. Om Mitraya Namaha, 
ओम गवये नमः ओम सूर्याय नमः ओम भानवे नमः ओम खगाय नमः ओम पूष्णे नमः ओम हिरण्य गर्भाय नमः ओम मरीचय नमः ओम सवित्र नमः ओम अर्थाय नमः ओम भास्कराय नमः रिलैक्स आई एम प्रैक्टिसिंग नेचुरली आई एम नॉट फोर्सिंग द बॉडी वट एवर कम्स टू द बॉडी so try to be gentle with the body and gradually it will automatically help you to become more flexible third round om mitraya namaha om ravaye namaha om suryaya namaha om bhanave namaha ओम खगाय नमः ओम पोष्णे नमः ओम हिरण्य गर्भाय नमः ओम मरीचय नमः ओम आदित्याय नमः ओम सवित्रे नमः ओम अर्काय नमः ओम भास्कराय नमः कैच योर ब्रथ ओम मित्राय नमः ओम रवय नमः ओम सूर्याय नमः ओम भानवे नमः ओम खगाय नमः ओम पोष्ठे नमः ओम हिरण्य गर्भाय नमः ओम मरीचय नमः ओम आदित्याय नमः ओम सवित्रे नमः ओम अर्थाय नमः put your head down and relax for a moment and come back see if you are struggling for breath you are forcing the body that becomes exercise the idea of vinyasa yoga is to synchronize the moment with the breath and gentle practice in here exhale palm to the heart in here then back exhale forward Look up, right leg back, right knee on the floor. Push the pelvis forward. Left leg back, knees chin chest down. Into cobra, back to downward dog. Right foot forward, left foot forward. Be gentle with the forward bend. Inhale, bend back. Exhale. Call poses on each side. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we repeat the same points. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Relax, catch your breath. One, exhale. Two, inhale. Three, exhale. Four, inhale. Five, hold the breath. Six, exhale. Seven, inhale. Eight, exhale. Nine, inhale. Ten, exhale. Eleven, inhale. Four, exhale. Relax. Left side. One. Exhale. Remember, we are starting with exhalation, not inhalation. Inhale. Two. Exhale. Three. Look up. Inhale. Four. Hold the breath. Five. Into plank. Exhale. Six. Inhale. Seven. Exhale, eight. Inhale, nine. Exhale, ten. Inhale, eleven. Exhale, twelve. Third round. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, forward, look up. Inhale into Ashwa Sanchalasana. Plank, hold the breath. Exhale, Ashtanga Namaskar. Inhale, Urdha Mukhaswanas. Exhale, Adha Mukhaswanas. Inhale, Ashwa Sanchalasana. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, relax. Left side, exhale, inhale, exhale forward, inhale, hold the breath. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Relax. Sit on the heels and relax. See, as the week progresses, we can Practice little advanced poses. Relax completely. So now we'll practice. So we practice six rounds now. We'll practice six more rounds, but much faster. Don't attempt if you are not ready. You can practice at your own pace. Okay. I just want to make sure. We develop stamina and flexibility as we go along. So relax fully and when you are ready, let us start faster Surya Namaskars. Let me make sure the sound is here. Yeah. 
Let me know if you have any difficulty in hearing. Six, seven, Om Suryaya Namaha. Two, take your hands up and go into a backward bend. Three, bend from your hip and come into a forward bend. Four, take your right leg back. Five, take your left leg back. Go into a plank position. Six, put your knees down, chest down, chin down. Seven, arch back into the cobra pose. Eight, stretch into the mountain pose. Nine, bring your right leg forward. Ten, bring your left leg forward. Eleven, backward bend. Twelve, relax. Two, Breathe in. One. Namaste. Om Suryaya Namaha. Two. Backward bend. Three. Forward bend. Four. Take your left leg back. Five. Take your right leg back. Plank position. Six. Put your knees down, chest down, chin down. 7. Cobra Pose 8. Mountain Pose 9. Bring your left leg forward 10. Bring your right leg forward 11. Backward Bend 12. Relax 3. 1 2 Four right, five, six, seven, eight, nine right, ten, eleven, twelve, four, one. Four left, five, six, seven, eight, nine left, ten, eleven, twelve, five, one. Four right, five, six, seven, eight, nine right, ten, eleven, twelve, six, one. Four left, five, six, seven, eight, nine left, ten, eleven, twelve. We will go slightly faster now. Seven, one, two. Three, four right, five, six, seven, eight, nine right, ten, eleven, twelve, eight, one, two, three, four left, five, six, seven. Eight, nine left, ten, eleven, twelve, nine, one, two, three, four right, 
फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन राइट टेन लेवन ट्वेल्व टेन वन टू थ्री फोर लेफ्ट फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन लेफ्ट टेन लेवन ट्वेल्व लेवन वन टू थ्री फोर राइट फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन राइट टेन लेवन ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व वन टू थ्री फोर लेफ्ट फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन लेफ्ट टेन लेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन वन टू थ्री फोर राइट फाइव So that is twelve rounds. Relax. Now you may bend your knees, drop the knees from side to side. And shift over to your abdomen. And relax and much it will last. and change now practice pada anushtas take a strap Keep the knee straight and pull the knee towards you. Maintain the stretch. Relax the breath.
Now hold the right, bring the right foot all the way to the right. Turn your head to the left. Stay there for a minute or so. Hold the shoulders on the floor. Now bring the right foot all the way to the left. Turn the head to the right, hold it. And release. Now change. Feel the stretch in the calf muscle, hamstrings. And make sure your knee is not locked. Knee should be flexible. Do not bend at the knee. Hold it. Now bring the left foot all the way to the left. Turn the head to the left. Now bring the left foot all the way to the left. Turn the head to the left. And release. Now raise your feet, press the feet down. Bring the right knee to the floor, straighten the left leg, hold it. Bring the left knee to the floor. Straighten the right leg. If you cannot hold the foot, hold at the ankle, calf muscle, whatever is better for you. Keep the knee straight. Side to side. 
right knee is a block. Left knee to the block. And release. Now, shift over to the right side. Sit up. Okay, let's get ready for inversions. What we will do, let's practice bridge pose. From bridge pose, we can go into the inversions, shoulder stand. Yeah. 
Let us practice Gomukasana. Right knee on top of left knee. Adjust the feet parallel to the edges of the mat. Now bend the right elbow, push the right elbow with your left arm. Feel that nice stretch on the right side. And you can start Kapalabhati when you are ready. Be gentle with the shoulders. And practice the Ardhama Chandrasana. <clears throat> the left arm goes around the right. Right arm behind the whole leg. And the counter pose. And the other side, left knee on top of right. And stay there for a moment. Relax the breath. Now bend the left elbow with your right arm and both. Now start the ball with it, then you can.
And we call the boss. Now let us sit in Vajrasana and practice Dirga Shwasan practice. So make a snoring sound in the throat suction sound. That's only audible to you. And be gentle with the practice. We will start with five and ten. We cannot sit in Vajrasana, sit on a block or on the, on the blanket. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Relax the breath. Breathe in. In with day. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Six and twelve. Six seconds in here, four weeks. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Take a few normal breaths. Relax the breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. Now seven and fourteen. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. No. 
8 and 16. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Relax the breath. Take a few normal breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Oh, nine and eighteen. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. Now ten and twenty. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. Now let's practice the alternate nostril breathing. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. 
Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax the breath. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax. Third round. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Hold. 
Well done. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax. Okay, now we we'll practice Brahmari.
ಜಾರ್ಜಿ ಇವಾಗ ನಿಂದಿರು ಪ್ರಾಯ Yogananda is the practice of relaxation that takes you deep into a psychic sleep. That means you are not actually sleeping. You are between waking and sleeping. So probably a dreamy state. And if you follow the instructions that I'm going to give you, if you follow them, uh, follow me along, then you will find that most relaxing for you. So keeping the palms facing the ceiling, natural curve the fingers, make sure your eyes are closed, allow the feet to fall to the sides, and then begin to feel the body as it lies on the floor. Feel the meeting points of the body and the floor under the shoulders, under the elbows, wherever they touch the floor, under the palms, under the hips, under the knees, and under the heels, and also under the head. Now, feel all those mating points once again, and see how your body is sinking into the floor, more and more nicely. As the body sinks into the floor, you are also feeling the heaviness of the body increasing. Now bring your attention to the chest area. From the chest, as you close your eyes, feel the space from the chest to the ceiling. Just feel it. Create a feeling of the space. Now, from the right side of your body, feel the space to the wall on the right. Now, do the same with your left side, from the left side of the body to the wall on the left. Now, bring your attention to the top of the head and feel the space from that spot to the wall behind and beyond your head. Now feel the space from the soles of your feet to the wall in front of the feet. Now feel the space once more under the body. How the body is grounded to the floor and your body is absolutely still and comfortably still. The word comfort is important in relaxation. If you are comfortable, you can continue. If you are not comfortable, you have to move until you are comfortable. So any change in position you can do now, but try not to keep moving. Try to be Still, only in stillness, you get a deep relaxation. Now bring your attention to each part of the body by bringing the consciousness to the right hand thumb. Your mind is moving to the thumb, but the thumb is not moving. You're bringing awareness to the thumb. Second finger, it goes very quickly now. Second finger, the third finger, the fourth finger, and the fifth finger, the front of the palm, back of the palm, and the elbow, the right shoulder, and the waist, the right hip, the right thigh, knee, calf muscle, 
ankle, heel, the right big toe, second, third, fourth, fifth. Now feel the whole of your right arm and the whole of your right leg, the whole of your right side and feel it is becoming heavier. And with that heaviness, you're also relaxing even more. Do the same with your left side, left hand thumb, second finger, third, fourth, fifth, front of the palm, back of the palm, wrist, elbow, shoulder, armpit, waist, left hip, left thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, left big toe, second, third, fourth, fifth. Now feel the whole of your left side once again, making sure it is heavier and also relaxing. Now attention on both arms and both legs. Both arms and both legs heavier than before. And as a result, you're also feeling a deeper relaxation. Bring your attention now to your lower back, middle back, and upper back. And begin to soften the entire spine with your thoughts. Bring your attention to the back of the neck and soften the back of the neck. Continue with the back of the head also relaxing and the top of the head. Now come to the top of the head. Feel a sensation there. Feel the forehead and the space between the eyebrows. The space between the eyebrows is a very important center of energy. It's called the eye of Shiva, the third eye of Shiva. Continue down to the eyes, the right eye, the left side, the right ear, the left ear, the right nostril, the left nostril and the right cheek, the left cheek. So your mind is moving to all these parts quickly. Now feel the upper lip and the lower lip. Also the chin, front of the neck, chest, abdomen, internal organs, feel the internal organs also. Now begin to scan your body from the head to the toes. Develop a homogeneous awareness of the whole body. Become aware of the space occupied by the body. Become aware of the whole body and the floor. The whole body in relation to the floor. At the same time, become aware of the meeting points of the body and the floor. These are very subtle physical points between the body and the floor. Feel the meeting point between the back of your head and the floor, shoulder blades and the floor, elbows and the floor, back of the hands and the floor, buttocks and the floor, the calves and the floor, the heels and the floor. Do not sleep. Switch your attention now to the eyelids, 
feel the narrow line of meeting between the upper and lower eyelids. Feel the sharp points where they meet. Intensify your awareness between the eyelids. Now, the lips. Center your attention on the line between the lips. The space between the lips. From the lips, we go to the breath. Draw your attention to the natural ingoing and outgoing breath. Feel the breath moving along the passage between the navel and the throat. On inhalation, it rises from the navel to the throat. On exhalation, it descends from the throat to the navel. Be completely aware of the respiration. Navel to throat, throat to navel. Do not try to force the breath. Just bring awareness to the breath. Now maintaining your awareness, start counting your breath beginning from number 10, first exhalation number 10, second exhalation number 9, continue until 1. Now you may stop counting. So let's come back to the body. Awaken the feeling of heaviness in the body. The feeling of heaviness in every single part of the body. You're, you're feeling so heavy that you are sinking into the floor. Awareness of Heaviness. Awareness of heaviness. Now, let us reverse the whole scene. Awaken the feeling of lightness, the weightlessness. Feel completely weightless in your body in all parts of the body, your body feels like a piece of cotton. So very weightless. Awareness of lightness. Now begin to awaken the sensation of heat. Awaken the experience of heat in the body. The whole body, you feel it is hot. The whole body is hot. You feel hot all over. Recollect the feeling of heat when you are out in the sun with no shade, heat all over the body. Awareness of heat. Now once again, change and feel the experience of cold. Awaken the experience of Bitter cold in the body. Imagine 
you're walking on a cold floor in winter, your feet feel very cold, you feel cold all over, awareness of coldness, completely cold, bitter cold, Now bring your awareness to the dark space you see in front of your closed eyes. The dark space that you see in front of your closed eyes. Actually, this space can also be visualized in front of the forehead. So if you want to explore it a little, you can shift your gaze to the forehead. Watch the darkness that you see before you very carefully with detachment. Do not become involved. Rest your mind in this warm and friendly darkness. If any subtle phenomena manifest, for example, colors or patterns, simply take note of these and continue with your awareness. If thoughts begin to happen, let them come and go, but continue watching the dark space in the forehead. Continue this with detached awareness. Very slowly now become aware of your breathing. Become aware of your natural breathing. Become aware of your relaxation. Feel your normal breath. Gradually develop awareness of your physical existence. Become aware of your arms and legs and your body lying stretched out on the floor. Become aware of the meeting point between your body and the floor. Once again, gradually develop awareness of the room without opening the eyes. Feel the colors of the walls, the ceiling. And then open your ears to any noises in the room and the noises outside. Externalize your mind, take your mind out at this point, but do not open your eyes until I tell you. Become completely external. Lie quietly for a few moments. Keep your eyes closed. Gradually when you're sure that you're wide awake, take a deep breath, inhale, and a long exhale. And after that, begin to bend your legs, shift over to the right side, 
and then they burn the lap into the child's pose. They come cozy, casual, and comfortable. They gently press the left palm and sit up. Conclude with dawn chanting. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Ma Kashchid Dukkha Bhagbhave Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya Mrityor ma mrtangamaya Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamadachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Gurbhyo Nama